Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you're doing well. What I need for you to do is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. Make sure you click that bell notification. Click all so you'll be notified of when I upload. And then just bookmark the channel and know that you can come back and find me very easily. So, with that being said, I am going to slap it down. Zia holy water. So good in the neighborhood, Pisces. So, you know what time it is. Tarot's now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dong, presiding. You can all lay down. So we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. It could be your own energy for all I know. Whatever the case is, we will get it, we will hit it, and we will quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. If you got a big tree, you have a small axe. Ready to cut you down, to cut you down. Show me the energy the person might be. Okay, oh, hold on. Oh, good lord. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Show me the energy the person, ooh. Show me the energy, okay. Show me the energy the person might okay. What is going on here today? Oh, brother Pisces. Okay. Well, somebody's feeling you. It's like you haven't been around. And all this person has been doing is feeling this connection. Feeling pulled towards you. There's something, though, that this person has been refusing to see. Okay. Okay. Something has definitely ended here, okay? I feel like this person, uh, they could be spying on you. Ooh, this is kind of a little, it gives me a little bit of the heebie-jeebies. I'm not going to lie. But I feel that, like this person wants to propose something to you. So I don't know. Let me get out my sword. Because I need to get ready for this. <laughs> oh, the card. That's not even a real sword. It is to me. Oh my God, why is she even like this? Okay. What has ended for this person? There's been an ending here. What has ended? What is oh. Okay. This person does not want to fight with you anymore. Literally. There's been a fight between the two of you here. Okay. And this fight created separation. And the separation is now why this person is like they've been longing for you. What was this fight about? Let me get my sword closer. What was this fight about? What was this fight about? What was this fight about? Come on now, top to bottom. What was this fight all about? What was this fight all about? What was this fight all about? They were trying to show you something. Like, show you what they could do. But you honestly felt like you were being manipulated. Okay? But they were trying to show you that they actually have some kind of ability here to do something. But you felt like it was false. Like it was a manipulation. So what were they trying to show Pisces here under this energy? What were, ouch. What were they trying to show Pisces under this energy, please? What was this person trying to show Pisces under this energy? What were they really trying to show Pisces under this energy? 
they were trying to offer you something, but you felt like it was small. Yeah. They were trying to offer you something, but it was like, you were like, this is a small offer. And to this person, it was a huge offer because if you would have accepted the first offer, they had something else they wanted to offer you. So this person had all kinds of things planned and lined up here to give you, and you didn't take it because you felt like it was too small. So, obviously, you guys had argued about this. And so they're like, I don't, they're basically like, I don't want to even fight with Pisces anymore. Not at all. But it's like they had several offers here for you. Several. And you were just like, no, that's not good enough. And they didn't tell you they had another offer. It was like they had two to three things here they were ready to give you. And you didn't even take the first one. And you felt like it was a manip manipulative tactic here. So what's this person refusing to see now? What are they not wanting to look at? What's this person not wanting to look at, please? What's this person not wanting to look at? What are they not wanting to look at with the Ten Cups? And now it's like, boy, Pisces. Now they're not even wanting to, like, look at their emotions. Because this person, they're like, I, I can't even look at my emotions right now in this situation. I really need some time alone to do some healing work. They could have literally went and talked to a therapist, maybe a priest, maybe even somebody spiritual here. Maybe they went and got a tarot card reading, or maybe a psychic reading, or maybe a Reiki reading, or maybe cranial therapy. I don't know. But it's like they didn't even want to look at their emotions because this person needed some time alone to do some spiritual work. So what's come out of this uh, spiritual work that this person's done? What's come out of this for this person? What's come out of this for this person? So now... Now they're looking here, okay? At their emotions. So now this person has taken the wool... The wool off their eyes here. And now it's like... They've really had to do some emotional work here. Some emotional therapy. This is good, though. So whatever, whoever they talked to, therapist, priest, counselor here, it was good. It was good. And so they realized that they needed to take a look at their emotions here. <clears throat> because they weren't seeing them before. So now it's like... They're starting to embrace their emotions. It could have been like, you know, what is that? Toxic masculinity. Man or woman, you know. Sometimes, uh, well, if I show too many emotions, you know, then everybody's going to think I'm, you know, weird. And I taught that emotions were bad here. Or maybe they just got, you know, hurt along, you know, growing up, you know, in life. Being around the wrong kind of crowd, the wrong kind of people, learning bad habits from people. Realizing, you know, that this isn't really conducive. Toxic masculinity. Whether it's a male or female, uh, it resides within all of us. Yeah, I mean, I've been there. I'm a female and I've had some toxic masculinity that I've had to deal with. Because I grew up with... You know, basically all dudes. Like, I've just been not surrounded by nothing but dudes. And I've inherited some of those traits by being around dudes. You know? I have. And then I had to, one day, I had to peel back the layers of all that masculine crap that I got dealt all my life. And take a look and realize that I'm just a... Uh, 
I'm very feminine. I'm very emotional. I'm very not, you know, crazy, you know, but my goodness, like, it's okay for me to embrace my emotions. And so I've stepped into my feminine energy. And the whole time, you know, when I was, when I was like that growing up, you know, like toxic masculinity, I was very hard. It was like I, the whole time, you know, I have six feminine placements. Like my chart is like I have more feminine energy in it than I do masculine energy. And when I looked at that, it was so shocking because growing up, it was like, I can't believe I suppressed all that. But I was shamed for it because I was all around men. And then the men would teach me, you know, well, this is bad. That's bad. This is da 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 And I'm like, yeah, hoorah, rah, hoorah, rah. So, you know, even females can develop that kind of toxic masculinity. I mean, I know because I've done it myself. I mean, that's obviously changed. I mean, I don't sit around and cry or anything like that, you know. Maybe once a month when I get my period and I'm like, why am I emotional? And then, you know, and then it's like, oh, that's why. Okay. So, what's what's going on with this person spying? Why are they spying on Pisces? Why is this person spying on you? Because they have a void in their heart. It's a great big, I got a hole in my heart and it's all the way to China. You got to fill it up. Yeah, this person's spying on you because they got a huge void within themselves. And it's like you're the thing that can fill this person up. You are their void. And so it looks like they don't have you in their life right now. And as a result of that, the only thing that this person's been able to do is spy on you. I don't know how they do it. They could be looking at your pictures. That's a form of spying. They could be on your social media. Hell, they could be driving past your house. Even. Which is... Little on the edge. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie about that. Okay. So, what's this proposal they want to give Pisces? They want to propose something to you. What is this proposal? Oh my, Pisces. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Something about the timing here. What's this proposal with the Wheel of Fortune? So they want to reconnect with you. This person misses you and they feel like it would be so very nice to see you again. That's what I have here. Is there any advice I can give Pisces before we get off this reading? Any advice for Pisces, please? Any advice? Your advice is to hear this person out. Hear this person out. Hear what they have to say before you decide to walk away permanently from this person, okay? Because I feel like this person is going to tell you something here about how they feel. I feel like this person wants a hug. I feel like they want you to hear them out. I feel like they're going to show you something that they've done that they're very proud of here. And ultimately, this person, I feel like they've been manifesting you back here. So whatever the case is, uh, your advice is to hear this person out. So, I love you, Pisces. I'll see you on the next read. Tarot's adjourned.